All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakodash. I want to send double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone that taught me this word. Peace, love, and respect as always to your elect document out there laboring in this ministry and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth where we were scattered and presenting your body as a living sacrifice to do so. All right. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to get straight into this lesson, which is actually going to be a land back lesson off of the elder apostle Gabar. And, um, you know, just to summarize the video, all right, which the name of the video is What a Waste, Man, What a Waste. All right, so pretty much to, to summarize it, you know, what, what the uh, the elder apostles going into is how you have men that waste wasted their talents, all right, or they had the Lord's money and they didn't, you know, they didn't capitalize, okay, which, you know, which put me into a different mindset, you know, when it concerns, um, being a minister, Yahweh Shemel Shai, and doing his works, all right, doing the things that the scriptures tell us to do, okay? Because guess what? The Lord, he don't, you know, he doesn't need, he doesn't need us, you know, just, just to say it frankly, he doesn't need us, man, all right? Now, the Lord have called men, you know, it says, um, matter of fact, I'll get that before I get that definition, all right, where it says, talks about the vocation, so I can all right, so I'm gonna get this. It says Ephesians four and one. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you were called. Okay, and when you go into this word vocation, all right, the Greek word is klesis, which is a calling, calling to, a call, invitation to a feast. Of the divine uh, of the divine invitation to embrace salvation of the most high you know and we only we understand that the only way to obtain salvation of Yahweh Shai is to continue and do these works and to continue in them all right that's why it specifically tells us in second Esther the ninth chapter he that shall be able to he that shall able to be saved by his works and by faith whereby he had believed shall be preserved from the said perils okay but those men who don't take you essentially you're not taking the word seriously and i'm saying this this is to whom it may concern you know if you're not taking this word seriously guess what the lord will get rid of you man you know and it doesn't necessarily have to be death the lord could just he, he could put you in a bugged out mindset all right and use you as, use you as an example okay he can you know he can have you going off and following um he he, he can put spirits on you to allow you to go and follow different doctrines and you know pretty much the lord the lord will spew you out of his mouth okay ultimately that's what it's called being lukewarm you know when you you uh call yourself a man of the lord but you're not doing things that the man of the lord would do okay revelation the third chapter says that the lord rather you be hot or cold so um i'm going to get into this word waste all right in the etymon line and Lord willing, this is an edifying video, all right? So this is uh, the word waste in the Etymon line. It says from uh, 1200 century, it says to devastate, ravage, ruin from Anglo-French and Old North French waster to waste, squander, spoil, or ruin, all right? So uh, now I want to get down to the, uh, using con the context of, these, uh, of, this, of this lesson, I'm going to get straight to the definition that exactly lines up all right which none of these uh definitions should be taken away from that's why i have it on the screen so akim or whoever's watching can you know read it for yourself and you can you know you can see the website and all that all right so i'm going to jump down to the bottom okay where it says uh from from pi wasto extended suffix form of root ew means to leave Abandon, give out. All right, and that's exactly the definition that lines up with the scriptures. Because guess what? As I mentioned, the Lord don't necessarily need us. If you want to act like you're too good to read every day, or to study every day, or to do a video every day, or to serve you, how about Shemia or Shai every day? You're ultimately wasting. The talent that Yahweh Shemuel Shai initially gave you. That's why I read this here in Ephesians 4. It says to walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you were called. And let me get this word worthy. Okay. 
<clears throat> All right, so this word worthy. Strong's G515, Axiao, Axiao. Okay, and it says suitably, worth, worthily, in a manner worthy of. All right, now I go down to the Strong's. It says appropriately, as becoming, as be, as becometh after a godly sort. All right, and we understand that those that are worthy, that are of that um, are after a godly sort. You can tell who these men are by their works. You can tell by their diligence. Now you can tell by um, just talking to them, man. You know that these men are diligent in Yahweh Shem Shai. These men are worthy of Yahweh Shem Shai. And guess what? As it says in the book of, which I'll, I'll get that real quick instead of quoting it, in the book of Second. Ezra's the eighth chapter. All right, so like it, second Ezra's eight. <clears throat> All right, so it says this uh, second Ezra's eight and one. And he answered me, saying, The Most High hath made this world for many, but the world to come for few. All right, which the many, who is the many? All right, the nation of Israel. All right, he made this world for many, but the world to come for few. All right, is also Israel, but it's namely. The elect, though the entirety, the entire nation of Israel will be in the kingdom of heaven. All right. They will be. Uh, they will inherit the blessings, the covenants, all right, the promises that Yahweh Shem Shai promised to our forefathers. All right. But there are going to be men of lower stature, you know, due to their works here on this earth. All right. Jumping down to three, it says there be many created, but few shall be saved. All right. And the few that shall be saved, that's the elect. These are the worthy men. All right, these are the men that are not wasting their talents. All right, they're not as that slothful servant. All right, which hid his, hid his Lord's money. You know, uh, which which the apostle brought out. All right. That's uh, Salakia. No, the talents, Salakia. And uh, I believe it's Matthew the twenty-sixth chapter. Okay. So let's get to it, Matthew. Okay, 25, Salakia. This is Matthew 25 and you know, it's a pretty good read. I want to get kind of get straight to the straight to the point. All right, so this is Matthew 25. And really you can start from the top, man. All right, because when you go when you start from the top, it talks about the five foolish virgins and the five wise virgins. All right, and the five wise they stored up their oil, okay? They kept, their lamps were burning. And what does that oil represent? This knowledge, this truth, all right? The wisdom, the knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Shai, okay? Which Yahweh Shem Shai have dispersed amongst them that are going to use it worthily, all right? Matter of fact, I'll, I'll kind of I'll kind of breeze through this. Matthew 25, and uh, I'll start from the top. It says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. All right. And this is representing the wise men in Israel and the and the um the foolish men in Israel. Which you have, as you can tell, you have more men in Israel that are foolish than that are wise. All right. So but reading on, it says, They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. At the and at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. And who is the bridegroom? Alright? It's Yahweh Shai. Alright? Our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Alright? This is the bridegroom, man. Alright? This is this is why it tells us in um earlier in the book of Matthew, it says that um bid ye them to the marriage, as many as you shall find, bid to the marriage. The marriage, the marriage of what? The lamb, man. The lamb being also Yahweh Shai, who was that sacrifice for the nation of Israel. Okay? But reading on, man. It says, <clears throat> And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. All right, and, th and this is representative of what? The men teaching on the corners today. The men putting out these electronic epistles. The men that are constantly uh, um, exhorting on the daily. Constantly edifying on the daily. All right? Teaching repentance to the nation of Israel, teaching the truth to the nation of Israel and to the whole world. 
proclaiming this truth, proclaiming the name of Yahweh Shem and his prophecies. Okay, it says, then all uh, then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. And guess what? The famine of the word is on the way. Okay, and this is what this is representative of, because here it is. You know, as it says in Second Ezra the ninth chapter, you know, we had time. The Lord gave us ample time, man. Has given us ample time to repent, to turn our ways, to, uh, to turn turn away from our evil ways, all right, to worship Him in spirit and in truth. The Lord has given us plenty of time, man. All right, matter of fact, I'll I'll, I'll grab that. You know, so like I'm I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. This is uh Second Ezra nine, and. Uh, chapter, I mean, verse 7, it says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith where, whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And this is how you also know who the Lord's men are. Because guess what? The Lord, his, his elect was chosen before the foundations of the world. All right? Before the foundations of the world were even uh, laid, the elect was sealed already with the, with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, And that's whom this world ignorantly calls God, which is the Almighty, man. All right? It says, then, um, <clears throat> it says, then shall, then this is the point. All right? Um, no, no, the point is in, the point is in 10. All right? It says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. All right? <laughs> and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. And I want to get that word abused, man, because we got we got to get to the nitty gritty, you know, because guess what? The Lord, he he didn't just give this word to any any old Joe Smo, man, you know, and the word abuse in the Itamar line, it says what from the early 15th century to misuse, misapply. OK, you misapply, man. All right. And you have a lot of that going on in Israel. A lot of a lot of people. I'm not even going to say just men, but you have as women as well. That abused the ways of Yahweh Shai. All right, they use this this word as a cloak of covetousness, man. You know, to get some type of um, some type of uh, tangible gain, or to get some type of um, or to get their that in incorruptible crown. Okay, to beguile the simple. All right, by teaching uh, by teaching them that God is all love, He's gonna save everybody. You know, uh, we can we can we can eat. Um, the Lord made pork clean. He made the pig clean. All this, all, the list goes on and on of how our people abuse the ways of the Heavenly Father, man. They misuse it. Okay? It says, And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. So the Lord has always been taking care of his people. But here it is, his people are not, <laughs> they're not fulfilling their office. They're not doing what they're supposed to do as an Israel, uh, uh, Israelite, man. All right. This is our um. Th this book is ours, you know. As we we spoke on, on on the highways and the hedges this past weekend, you know this is this book is ours by inheritance, man. So why not do the greater good? And this is the greater good to teach the word of Yahweh Shai. Now to clear that up, as I mentioned, you have women that are abusing the ways of the heavenly Father. Women are not to teach. You know, I'm just I'm making a point. All right, women are not to teach, but to be subject unto their husbands and to listen unto their husbands. But you can do good works as well as a woman. Okay, you can do good works towards the ministry. You can do good works towards your Hashem Shai as well. You play a pivotal role as well. All right, but as far as teaching concerns, I'm speaking to the men. You know, because here it is, you have men that are not properly using this word, man. They're not they're, they're not using it at all. Some of them are not using it at all, man. All right. <laughs> it says um it says and have not known me. So they don't know the lost that they don't know the lost statutes of commandments of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Why? Because they don't keep them. All right? They don't follow what the word says to a T. All right? It says and they had they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it and that's that, and that's the point that i wanted to get this is that place of repentance this is that window of repentance that yahweh shimao shai gave to the nation of israel and, and 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 to not use the lord's money 
being this being this word, this wisdom, to not use it for the betterment of yourself and for the nation of Israel, as the Apostle Gabar said, is a waste, man. Because guess what? The Lord's what the Lord said he's gonna do. He said to, to him that hath, even the little that he hath shall be given away. Alright, so the Lord, whatever you have, whatever you think you know in the scriptures, if you're not using it to your best ability and properly, the Lord will take it away from you and give it to another who's gonna walk worthy of that vocation. So I'm gonna get back into this precept here in uh Matthew 25, and I'm probably gonna close it out after this. You know, in the hey, let's see where the spirit goes. All right, so this is Matthew 25, back in Matthew 25, and uh, verse, I'm start back from verse 7. It says, Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, give, uh, give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. So this is showing that hey, that 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 that, uh, that window of repentance is closing. That time of, of so I could, that time of repentance is is um, is damn near coming to an end, man. As we get closer and closer to the end of this age, to the end of this world, man. All right, don't waste your talents. Don't waste. Uh, uh, um, the God, the, hey, literally the God given ability that Yahweh Shem Shai have given you. Okay? Oh, uh, 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 scripture just came and left. All right? That's you. So I'm going to keep reading. I had a scripture in mind, but it, it, it escaped me. Lord willing, it'll come back. It says, and while, and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, being the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, and they, and they that were ready. Went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. And how are these men? How are these men ready? Because they're rehearsing the righteous acts. They're constantly seeking the heavenly father. As it says in Matthew 24, they're constantly watching. They're constantly reading. They're constantly praying. They're constantly going to bat for the nation of Israel. All right. Being the poor and the defrauded. Okay. Being the, uh, um, the, the meek of the earth. All right. These, these are, uh, these are the works of a man who's going to walk worthy of the vocation, man. Don't waste your talents on bullshit. Okay? Then it says, Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he said, he answered and said, Verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. All right? So quit wasting your talents on things that don't profit, man. All right? And, and, and you know, um, which I, I I advise brothers to go and watch that video if you haven't already. But um, you no know, one one point that he made about the the guys he was he was talking about in the video is uh brings up brings on another point. Stop complaining. Stop bitching, man. All right. <laughs> hey, as they as they like people like to say, life isn't fair. Well, guess what? Everything's not going to seem fair when, you, when you're when uh, you following your Yahweh Shemiah All right? Take that into consideration. Not everything's going to be fair. Not everything's going to go in your favor. You know, you just continue to do the works of Yahweh Shemiah And may he glorify you. All right? As it says that the, the Most High, will, uh, as, as you do things in secret, the Most High will, will reward you. I'm messing that word up. He will reward you and uh, reward you openly, man. All right? So hey, um, I may come back and visit this, you know, but for time's sake, um, I'm gonna cut it off here. But there's there's so much that I, I can touch on as far as this subject matter, man. You know, because we don't want to be found wasting our talents, or wasting uh, um, wasting our God given ability on things that don't profit. All right. So until the next time, I say call Allah Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kakodash. You know, double honors to the elders and apostles who are worthy of double honors. And a much love, peace, and respect is unto you, elect document there. With that being said, I'll say shalom.